Alright guys, today we're getting out of the house and we are going to the Tulsa Air and Space Museum. Wow, guys, look at this. Look how cool this is. I am impressed. This is very cool. I really didn't think it was gonna be this cool. And look over here, guys. We got this whole space shuttle. <laughs> Apparently you can launch it. This is like a very interactive one. Kristen, this is a place for me I right know. now. Chill's just like. <laughs> I don't know who's more excited. You can fly the plane. <laughs> Buttons and switches. Well, no wonder you love it. You know, I have to buy a plane, right? <laughs> Not day. so she can like press everything, but yeah. yeah. I'm telling you guys, it's one day I will have a plane. I am still gonna get my pilot's license. I'm gonna do it. I've flown a plane before. I can say that. But yes, it's happening. It's planes everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a plane, a yellow one. Okay, come on, child. There's so much more. Let's so much more we plane? can see. Yeah. So what do you think about me getting a plane like this instead of like, you know, a passenger plane? Something a little I faster? Legal. It's not legal? I don't know. It's gotta be legal. No, people have planes like this. Oh, I just thought about something. For dad hacks, for dad hacks this weekend. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. You guys just watch. Call that a hint. A hint for the next dad hacks or the first dad hacks or the, the ones coming Saturday. Kristen's like, I want to get in the plane. I'm getting in so she can sit on my lap. Mm-hmm. There we go. And mama knows what it's like. Wow. Cool. She's looking at all the mannequins and going, hi. <laughs> like, how do you explain that that's not a real person and they're never going to say hi back? <laughs> <laughs> it's a statue. That's not a real person. She's saying hi to that guy, too. Yeah. Hey, what do you think about me buying a plane this big? I'm pretty sure that is illegal. God, it can't be illegal. There's got to be a way no, to buy a jet. I mean, it, it, you can do this it This is like a military jet. In GTA, and GTA, it's a video game. Yes, but video games are based on real life. Ooh. That's so cool. It's nice going to places like this every now and then because it's like for me it restores like a like a like a dream you know that I've had. Of course for flying and I haven't really been around planes a whole lot. I mean, we've been flying a lot, but just to you know just be around them yeah. makes me want to like work harder so that like someday I can actually fly and have my own plane. And yeah, I just want to be able to get out faster and explore more. Screwed up our departure time. Uh, we already got our PDC, but we're not going to be airborne for about an hour and a half. A whole bunch of my family on my mom's side are all like air traffic controllers. So it's my aunt and uncle, um, their two kids, and their daughter's husband. Like they all work in air traffic control. So it's always neat to like hear the radio and I don't know, get a little glimpse into what they do. It's actually an extremely stressful job. They work for an hour and then take an hour off. Like, can you imagine? They work an hour and then have to take an hour off legally. Oh, it's that stressful? Yes. So if you had like an eight hour shift, you would technically only work four, but it's like the stress of working more than eight hours. Just because if you work in a like super busy airport, all the planes coming in, you have to manage all that. They have a lot of lives in their hands, so yeah. One thing about being an air traffic controller and getting all those breaks though, my aunt Dawn like took full advantage of it. She learned how to play guitar during her time off. Wendy's the same way, my cousin. I don't know if you guys have met them, if you've been watching for a while you have, but you will meet them at Thanksgiving because we have a huge family reunion coming up. What did you find? How are you doing flying that plane? Not good. I think you just lost it in the field somewhere. Where? I, I don't even see it. There hey, it is. There's there your plane. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Isn't that so fun? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. So here's an update on something that I know a lot of you guys have talked about. I know my family has Chell's legs. Uh, they have like a slight bow to them and they were pretty bad when she first started walking. Uh, we talked to the pediatrician. The pediatrician says it's 
pretty normal to have that happen. It's it's just something having to do with uh, the lack of, what is it, lack of vitamin, vitamin D, D because we lived in Alaska and also the fact that she wasn't wearing shoes when she walks around as much. She and, walked early. And she walked early that too. So it's just like a, the combination of all of those things. And uh, yeah, so the doctor just said, okay, well, I'm gonna give you a manual adjustment. So she did like a manual adjustment on Chell's legs and she said, just keep Chell in shoes for a little while and she should be good. No braces are needed. I guess they used to put kids in braces. I don't know if they still do that. I, I think that's a thing of the past. Um, but yeah, she's good. It's all good. She doesn't have any real issues. See, her legs are looking pretty good. It's just her right leg might be a little bit bowed, but then sometimes I think her left leg is the one that's bowed. It, it, it just like depends on the time of day. So we're about to go back to the pediatrician, but uh, I wanted to ask uh, parents out there what you guys think of this. Uh, this is a new potty training thing that we're doing with Chell. Of course, for a little while we were potty training her. We were starting to teach her that stuff, but then we're like, wait, we just, for just whatever reason, we got off track. So here's something that I've started. Here's something I think's gonna work. Just tell me what you think. So anytime we change her, we're coming into this bathroom to change her. Of course, she just stands up when we change her. So put the potty here, and then right up here, we put all of her diapers. So anytime we're downstairs, we just come here, diapers, lotions, clean up stuff, everything. I sit here, and I just kind of coach her as she goes potty every time we change her butt. And it's so cute, because like, but you got a potty? Potty, potty, potty time. Is it? Yep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go to another doctor's office. We're just all about doctors lately. Like, I don't know, I guess it's just that time of the year where we just go see a doctor, like what, twice a week or something? She actually really likes going to this doctor's office because their waiting room has a ton of toys in it. Look at her left foot, see how yeah. it goes a little bit? Yep. Yeah. That's, that's it. It's that's getting better. About. Dude, these tables are the coolest. Look at this little train set. So awesome. I wanted one of these so bad when I was a kid. <laughs> they got lots of fun stuff here, dude. Look at this. I mean, just this is this is the type of place I would love to come to. I know. I'm glad we're early today, too, because she actually has time to play with everything. <laughs> I know. We're like right on time every yeah. time. Kristen, do you realize both of our nightmares are together on that counter? Oh, they are. Yes. It's like. This is beautiful. Raw cotton balls are a nightmare to me. I do not like them, they feel awful. I don't mind cotton clothing, I don't mind anything else made of cotton. Cotton in its raw form like that is terrifying. Kristen, on the other hand, does not like wooden spoons or anything wood touching her teeth. That's what these are for, holding your tongue down. So these, these, these are a jar of nightmares. Wait, what's this? Yes! Chels can be afraid of alcohol. Yes! Yes, it's good. Where could she be? There she is! Where is she? 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 Okay, so here's one of my favorite parts about coming to the pediatrician. It's looking at these percentile charts. It's seeing how she's doing compared to the average child. And so this is uh, this one here is showing her head circumference. Seems to be just above normal, but not too high. So that's good. That's what we want. She's in the, mm, yeah, just over 50 percentile. And then here, this is her weight for her age and for her height and stuff like that. Um, she is just above 50%, so about 60%. That's really good. Now this one is hilarious. Chell is a tall girl. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so this top line right here is a 97th percentile. <laughs> and this girl is sitting that much higher than the 97th percent. She is a tall, tall girl. She is 16 months old and 33.25 inches or 0.5 inches or, or one, one of those. It's hard to tell. She's been growing like crazy. I mean, it's like, yeah, she's been sleeping a lot lately too. Mm -hmm. Like how many of you guys have noticed her getting older quickly through the vlogs? Like I'm seeing her face change. I'm seeing her body change. Like, like really go back to just when we first moved to Oklahoma, which is just a couple months ago. And it is just huge change. So fun. <laughs> this is the part I don't like when they have to stick them. 
She's not getting stuck. She's getting scratched or something. I don't even want to know what it is they're doing. But she's oh, her finger. Right. Even better. So I have it set up, and I'll um, hold on to her hand, and she'll just hold on to her wrist for me. Okay, no more doctor's videos, no more sick videos, no more broken people videos, no more. We're not doing this. We're not, this is not what we're about. We're about getting out and doing fun things that don't involve getting stuck with needles and pricked in the finger and our blood drained by some vampires that just want to learn about our... <laughs> What was I saying about GTA? What was I saying? <laughs> you tell them what just happened. You tell uh, them. We were driving home, a two lane road, mm -hmm. and this truck, cement truck, like three cars in front of us stopped to turn left, so everyone was braking. The lady behind us did not. So all I see is Corey like do the wheel like crazy and get on the shoulder, and then I hear these brakes like and she ended up beside us. She was gonna rear end us. And because of Grand Theft Auto and my amazing driving, I went Woof! and I just yanked us off he the did. side of the road just good. in time and she did not hit us. No. Mm. She would have hit us. That was if you yes, man. I will admit that if, she would have rear ended us if he had not gotten out of the way. If I hadn't played so much GTA. <laughs> I'm not saying like this is a good experience or anything like that, but sometimes like when I get extreme adrenaline rushes like this, I just like yes, I off. feel really good. Like it just it does something for my ADD, and I, it's like I can think really, really well. Because I mean, what adrenaline essentially does, it's it's almost like it slows time in your brain, so you can think at a faster rate, so your body can react, and it just it does a lot of amazing things, and. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really cool. Maybe that's why I'm such an adrenaline junkie. Maybe. Like I love, I love roller coasters. I love doing crazy things. Maybe that's why I loved firefighting. That's why, that's why I was a stuntman for a while. That's why I did a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff. That's cool. Adrenaline's awesome. Grangie's here. Very nice, nice weather. What you got? A cheerio. Thank you. I get to eat it. Ooh, yum. All right, well, today's been quite a day. Um, we're gonna go to Gark and Grangie's house, watch the World Series, and just hang out for a while, and uh, it's probably not gonna be that interesting. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Go Astros! Go Astros, go, 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 wait, is it, uh, uh, Dodgers! <laughs> I shouldn't, I, I know who's in the Super Bowl. I'll see you guys in the next one, <laughs> goodbye.